here's this weekend's trip to the Red River Museum in Clay City, Kentucky. Give you a little tour here. It's Sunday, August the 30th. What's your name, sir? Rondo Lee. Rondo? Yeah, yeah, thanks. I've been with that outfit ever since it started. Yeah. More than 40 years. Yeah. When did the, when did the museum start? A long time ago. We left here in front of the black Okay. Museum. Been here a while. We rented this for a long time, and then we bought it. Uh-huh. Volunteer and labor done all of it. Yeah, yeah. All of it. Yep. That's great. You got a lot of millstones from all over the place of all kinds. We probably got the biggest collection in the country. Uh-huh. Yeah, I think so. Yep. Millstones all over the place. And other antique stuff. Log cabin that's been moved here. Some of these smooth ones are sharpening stones and not millstones. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Now, you saw the one out back, it's got the band around that's a nice one back there. Behind the shed there. That, that's a nice French. We, we just got the, uh, Dr. Miller had that and, and his uh, descendants give it to us. We went down Louisville and got it and those others. And uh, it's banded and it's in good shape. But but he didn't have both of them, he just got the one. Just had the single, like them are the single. I took that out of uh, steps. Went in the sidewalk, the old house that done rotted in. And uh, the, the son that was raised there, he was old and he let me have that. And that was over on the, the uh, uh, Rucker Mill. Well, they called it different things. I don't mean Ruckerville, but they rubbed the They moved in there and stayed there with them, and they just had me inventory them on the desire, and they built that rebuild. It had been, it'd been an old wood wheel one time. Where's the now big we, one? We know that thing was running as late as 1917. It ran for years. Mm -hmm. uh, we, we call it uh, Vienna, Kentucky. People live in there called it Vienna. Well, he's taking off. I'm going to go around here and look at stuff. Back to the museum. More stones just all over the place.
There's a water wheel from some place that's been reconstructed. And a lot more millstones. Boy. Millstones everywhere. This is a French burr stone here, just like the ones in Madison County. It's put together out of pieces by fine craftsmen. And then a blacksmith puts a steel hoop around the outside. You can see how it's worn smooth. Oh, those little holes in there, though, they're... As it wears, the holes wear, but the holes keep some sharpness to them. There's one made out of granite. This is conglomerate. Uh, we got a nice big dinner bell up here. This is a gas powered engine that runs this little mill over here. And these are two turbine mills that they dug up close to here that were buried completely in the ground. They were water powered mill would have been on the top bolted onto there the stone on the bottom is for ballast keep it from shaking and then this housing right here it lifted up to there so the water would shoot out the bottom when they opened then there's two of them here they were completely buried in the dirt when they found them he said they had a bobcat come and dig them up or a backhoe come and dig them up There's another one of their little museums, which is a pretty big museum. Full of old tools. And mills. Next, here's another portable mill. It was made in Louisville. There's a still. And saws and grinders and all kinds of blacksmith tools and a forge and an interesting bellows from an old blacksmith shop. Grinding stones, another grist mill, metal grist mill. And how many planes? Saws, more planes, axes. This is a place to see here. See, Larry's still talking out here. A 
look in this next building and see what's in here. Did you ring that one? Yep. Don't ring it. Don't ring it. It's not chain on. It looks like it rang pretty good. There's another museum. I haven't been in here. Oh, tools. Old tools and old patterns. It's just full. That's it.